In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about styles.csv file. How to add new styles, how to delete one so you don't mess the file, and a couple of the styles that I use and also how can you download the style CSV that I have. Let's go! So imagine this, you are walking to a website like this and you find a style that you really enjoy, like this one. You open that and for example you can copy this prompt. Then you open up your automatic 1111 and you can paste it here. So let's run this one and see what we get. Sampling methods, sampling steps, let's do a portrait mode and I think that's all for now. So I'm not sure what we'll get with this checkpoint, but let's see. Okay, let's say that we have the style and we like this style. It is not very similar with this one because we are not using the same parameters and most importantly, the same model, but let's keep going with this one. Well, what should you do to save this prompt? The first thing that you need to do is to remove the objects that are in the prompt. For example, vertical rocket and probably also the background and colors of the clouds. And for that, let's say that you can delete all of these unless you want to keep a frontal drawing. And for that, let's cut that. And here, let's delete all of these related with what you can see or what you want to see in the generated image. And here you can add a frontal drawing by Takashi Murakami. I hope to pronounce that right. <laughs> yeah, basically here now you have a generic style to save the prompt. And to show you what I mean, let's write uh, the object of the prompt. So a car in a busy street. If you generate now, basically this way, you can keep the style while changing the object. Another important thing that you can do is to add curly brackets and prompt, like this. For example, a frontal drawing of, uh, and then the curly brackets prompt. And this way you can add the object inside these curly brackets. Now, the steps to save this in the new Automatic 1111 1.6 in the styles.csv, you need to go here, edit styles, and then you create the name of the style that you want. So for example, Takashi style. Here, you should add the prompt and if you want, you can also add a negative prompt. So let's save this and now close. Now, if you come here, you can see the Takashi style prompt. And now to use your new prompt, all you need to do is to go here, the drop down, and then select Takashi style. And that's all to save a new style. Now imagine that you want to delete a style that you don't like. Let's go with brrr. And here the same thing, brrr. And then save it. Basically now with Automatic 1111 1.6, it is fairly easy because all you need to do is to click in delete. So for example, if you come here, you can see that the style brr is here. And now if you come here again and delete it, you press OK and then the style won't be here anymore. One thing that I was planning to also show in this video is how to delete styles in the styles.csv file. So instead of opening the styles.csv with Excel, you should open this file with the notebook. And once here, for example, you can go here to the last style delete it and then when you exit you should save this now if you come to the styles again refresh it the style won't be here anymore takashi style has disappeared and that's how you delete styles before the version 1.6 now to show you a couple of styles that you have in the file that i use let's grab this prompt for a reno and then use it in the automatic 1111 let's delete here some things that we won't need the style for the original image we can also delete this and now let's choose for example adorable and a negative style negative prompt here we have an example so here we have another example and now if you change for example instead of adorable if you want to choose horror yep it is bad Let's generate an image of a nightmare. Yeah, this might be nightmare stuff. And now let me show you where you can get all of these styles that I use. Well, you have the link to my repository in the description and in the first comment. It will take you here. And once you are here, you press in the file and then you press in download. You have all of these styles in the CSV. 
and all that you need to do is to drag and drop the CSV file into the stable diffusion folder. Well, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and consider subscribing. Also, take a look at this video where I show the workflow to create awesome image from Simple Sketch, or at this guide to generate awesome backgrounds in pictures. I hope to see you around. Peace. Bye.